what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hello and welcome back to another episode of How to Design with Adobe XD. My name is Michael Wong and in this episode I'm going to show you how to take advantage of the background blur tool. In the previous episode we designed this stunning gallery where users can browse, buy and sell their musical instruments. The next thing we want to do is we want to create an overlay so when someone taps on one of these photos we can provide an overlay with a larger photo and some details and of course a buy button. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a dark overlay that will blur the content beneath it. So let's head over to the rectangle tool and let's draw an overlay. Cool. Instead of having a light overlay, I want it to be a dark one. So let's head over to our appearance tab. Let's change the fill to a black. And there we have it. Now what we want to do is we want to blur the content beneath it. So in the property inspector under appearance, let's check background blur. Right away, it has blurred the content beneath it. So that's exactly what we're looking to achieve. So over in the settings, you can toggle the strength, the blur strength. You can also toggle the brightness of the blur. And you can also toggle the effect opacity. So as you can see, we have a fill, a dark fill. So turning down the opacity will reveal the fill beneath it. So let's say, let's say we're happy with, let's say we're happy with around 15% and the blur Let's say we're happy with around 25% and the brightness, let's go with three. Cool, that looks good. Now, if you wanted to actually blur this layer instead of blurring the content beneath it, you can actually hit the toggle and Adobe XD allows you to blur the object. So let's go back and now I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up this overlay. And there we have it, we have an overlay, so when a user taps on a photo, it will blur the background, it will show us a larger photo with a very simple title, and of course, a buy button. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions about the background blur or object blur, don't forget to ask in the comments below. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and also subscribe. I will see you in another video very soon.